left off. Our three adventurers had just finished up at the big party at the tavern and were taking a rest at their... And we were getting ready for our adventure okay. tomorrow. Yes, precisely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Getting what ready. will you do to me? Give you a nice big kiss. Oh, his, his lizard <laughs> folk guy will give you a nice big kiss. Nice big kiss. Uh. <laughs> a toothy scaly with a lot of tongue kiss. <laughs> I challenge you to do that. I will dodge away from your kiss in the roll. All right. So you awaken the next morning uh, feeling probably a little hungover at the least. Um, oh, some of you maybe more than others. Tim definitely feels, or Taryn definitely <laughs> feels quite hungover. Um, what did I even do last night? Quinn. Oh, I feel so bad. My head. <laughs> and uh, you're you're all together now. Like you've you've met up. Um, Tim still or Taryn still has uh, your package. you you were asked to deliver by Professor Oak. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Something seems a little off about it. Yep. What seems off about it? Well, you know what seems off about it. Yes. Well, <laughs> don't you don't you try to tell me you don't know. I don't. That's true. You don't. I don't. I don't know. Windows does not either. Well, you know, I'm pretty good at not meta gaming, so I have no idea. What oh no, that's about. fine. Yep, yeah, yep. <laughs> we might not even notice that something's off about it. I don't think Jimmy would even catch anything like that. Oh, yeah. We'll talk about what? <laughs> no, uh, nothing. No, nothing. <laughs> In fact, Jimmy, I don't even know if you would like necessarily remember that you even had it. <laughs> I, I don't even know what we're doing. I know we're going to this guy named Bill's house, but I totally forgot like why we're going there. I just know uh -huh. I need to help these bums or else they get themselves killed. <laughs> That's very in character of you. <laughs> it really is. So, Jimmy, I, I've been noticing that you um, have some trouble with your memory, and not to be not to be rude or anything. Dude, you've known me for so long, and you're bringing this up now. <laughs> well, I was just thinking about it. I was just thinking, I wonder if I could help Jimmy. If you wrote things down, maybe you'd remember them, or if I helped write things down for you, you, you want to forget? I mean, thanks for the offer, but I don't exactly like books, if you catch my drift. Uh, yeah, I know. You told me that before. Uh, yeah. I'm not entirely sure here, but I feel like lizard folk probably don't have, like, a written language. <laughs> and I don't know if... I've learned their language. <laughs> what? I know how to read and write. I was going to say, you know common, right? I know how to oh, read yeah. and write. But I'm just saying, I don't even know if, like, I, I mean, you can definitely speak it, but I don't know lizard if folk they... have a, Lizard folk have a language. They don't have a writing style, really. I don't okay, believe. Yeah. I have all their okay. stuff still pulled up in case the stuff like this ever comes up. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I just, I'm not sure, but I just think what that would be pretty funny. And, like, you didn't even bother to learn to read in common because you're just like, well, we don't use this. <laughs> we just talk to people. <laughs> I, I mean that would talking. make that would make sense, but I, I mean I'm just I'm just people, theorizing. Well, people used to be illiterate and they used to get by with it too. So, where are we going again? I'm not even sure if this is his voice. I feel like I change it every episode. I change mine too. You know, I'm not even Jeez. sure what we're supposed to be doing right now. What are we doing? DM help, please. Uh, yes, yeah, so you've all met together, and uh, you, like I said, you have a package. Uh, you remember that uh, the night before, after you brought Professor Oak, uh, those Pokemon that you caught, uh, he asked it to deliver a package to a man named Bill. Uh, it's a friend of his, a colleague, otherwise. Um, yeah. Rillian City. Vermilion? Cerulean. Cerulean. Yes. Are we're in Pallet Town? Yes, sir. That's a good distance away. It is. <laughs> yeah, how far are these distances? Uh, you can look on uh, the maps in our thing. 
Well, no, no, no. I know, but I mean, what what is the uh, scale? Yeah, we need to know some scale. So hold on, I'm. Well, I was going to, to ask that last night or last time, but. Here. Do a little do. That certainly does look like a ways. Oh man, yeah. Um, uh, you know that no matter which way you go, whether you go up and then to the uh, to the east, I guess it would be, or if you go straight like diagonally through Celadon to Cerulean, um, it's probably going to be uh, two days' journey. That's all. That's actually not half bad. I thought it might be more than that because it's to Cerulean City. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty, like, small, I guess, country otherwise. It look that big. Yeah. All those cities are where, pretty cool. Where are we right now? Where's that at on the map? Oh, it's yeah. on the top right, right by Bill's Cottage. Oh. So, Pallet Town, Pallet Town. Still don't no, I was looking for power. Power town's bottom right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I were messing with them. Man, <laughs> <laughs> uh, find the humor in this. Well, right. Oh, we we got. How long is that? That's a long ways. Two days. All right. Well, we have right, 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 played two days over so there now, right? Yeah, we're there. What? Yeah, sure. We haven't played in two days, so we're at the cottage now, right? Nope. <laughs> Scout up and you're in Pallet Town and discussing what your plan is. Oh, let's, let's start walking. So, do you think we need some supplies? <laughs> and which one? Actually, what what do you think we need before before we start, guys? Gizzle, well, Jimmy, we we need to figure out what we what we could use. We might need toilet paper. Let's go. Gizzle. Okay, we'll we'll go. We'll we'll get stuff on the way if we have to, I guess, Gizzle. All We're right. so eager to be out. Okay. So uh because you know uh this route and you've gone part way through so far, um you decide to travel north, um back along uh route one, which I'm going to change into here momentarily. Um, I don't even have any Pokeball more po or no. Yeah, because I gave one to Jimmy. Oh, yeah, Jimmy, you still owe me at some point because of that Pokeball I gave you. Yeah, it's the one Giz got. It's the one Giz has. No, that's not the one Giz has, is it? Because I gave it to you after that. Oh. It's the one you trapped your eagle in, your Pidgey, your giant yeah. Pidgey. A giant Pidgey. So yeah. it was a good one, too. You got good it's out of it. It's not a giant Pidgey. Stop calling it that. Can can I fly on my giant Pidgey to uh, Bill's house? So well, That's a good able, idea, actually. You're able to climb onto it. Uh, I'm going to assume that you're testing this as you guys are going along. You're able to climb mm -hmm. onto it and... Um, With me on your shoulders. Uh, uh, and it does, it's not really able to get off the ground. <laughs> Hold on, can the giant Pidgey just send the message? You don't have to get on it. Can we just deliver the message by the Pidgey? Will it yeah, I mean, it doesn't know it what wouldn't know really in the city is, though. Hold on, Gizzle is small, right? Send Giz with it. Gizzle, yeah. Can I get on there and write it down there? Sure. Roll the dice. No, I, I mean, you don't, don't have to roll a dice for that. I'm really small. Okay. So, yeah, let's just send Gizzle with the... Can we trust Gizzle with the package? I mean, what else is... Well, he's on the... He, I mean, on your pigeon. I feel like regardless if we walk or he takes the bird, he's going to take this package if he wants it. Right. Now you don't really want it. So. Yeah. I mean... All right, we'll see you guys um, later. I, I'm, I'm flying off now. We'll take, all right. Um, okay, so hold on. So I, I, I does anybody it. have a candle that I could use? Why? Um, I might have unsealed. 
You un- the package to see what was in it. Did you open the package, Taryn? I wanted to make sure Gizzle wouldn't see, wouldn't have anything worth stealing, and I, if I before I trusted him with it. Um, That's over. a federal offense. I'm not. I'm not really. Hold on, Gizzle. Oh. You have your Charizard, right? He has a Charmander. Charmander, yeah. Um, and there are branches around, right? Sure, yeah. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to use to your Charmander and light a branch, because I don't want the Charmander directly, just breathing flame on this thing, and we're going to light a little, like not a heavy torch, but just a little thing. We're going to heat things up, and we're going to reseal it, Okay. I'll take out my dagger. Okay. So, Gizzle, take out Charmander. Take out your Charmander. Okay. Okay. Breathe a little fire on this dagger until it gets hot, gets a nice hot tip. Did we open up the package? Tim did. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit behind here. King just came out. I can tell. I can tell, Gizzle. I I blew fire. I had a blue fire on it. Okay. You, okay. So, Charmander, blue fire. Okay. And I resealed the package. That's all we need to know. Uh, that was, you, like you're like putting the dagger up against the thing. Yeah, to melt right, it. So to like heat it, it, it's, um, it's, it's it heats it. the paper up, and it doesn't seem to be sealing it. Uh, the the wax that was on it originally was melted off with the candle that you used earlier. Well, was it melted off, or was it just because I just melted it? I well, that's don't the like only way. To, that's the only way you'd be able to open well, it. Well, yeah, yeah, but you you melt it so it's not. Like, it doesn't necessarily run off. You just melt it so it, I just, like, liquefied it so it didn't. Well, if it liquefies, it it runs off. (laughs) Like, yeah, but have you seen, like, opening letters where you, like, 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 you make it hot enough where it doesn't just run all the way off, but it becomes, like, not fully solid, where it becomes, like, gel? Like, you've seen this, haven't you, Cameron? Like where they do it in the movies, where like yes. you, I'm pretty saying, sure it melts off. It's been long enough that it. Yes, he's the right Tim, but that's if you do it. But that's if you reseal it right after. But you haven't resealed it for a day, a, a night now. Okay, so that means it would have melted away. Okay, so it just resealed to the paper, basically. Yeah. But it's sealed. Okay. So it's That's sealed, not... but it's poorly sealed. It looks like it was resealed. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> that is, it's canon now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get All on right. the Pidgey and fly. All right, bye-bye. And right, right before I place him on the Pidgey, I look him dead in the eyes and go, take care of him. Giant Pidgey. <laughs> As I fly away, I say it's not an actual Pidgey. <laughs> and I start crying because there goes my Pidgey. <laughs> so how long will it take Gizzle to fly? The world. Oh, uh, they, grew up, they grew up so fast. <laughs> it'll probably be like one day. Like he'll be there by the end of the day for sure. He'll be gone the whole day. So we should probably we do our free time. <laughs> okay, Gizzle, let's go. Let's do some exploring. I need money. I need, I'm not Gizzle, and I need money. Oh, sorry, Jimmy. Um, yeah, we need some money. Let's see if we can get anyone to hire us for money so we can get more Pokeballs and stuff. We can do some adventures. Ask if anyone. Maybe we'll ask around the bar. Let's go back to the bar and see if. I like the way you think. All right, and and and, and okay, so you guys are heading back then? We're going to ask around for jobs. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Time to do that? Yeah. You want to split up? Um, I guess we could. Yeah, or go we together. Let's go to the bar together and let's see what jobs they have, and then we can decide where to split up okay. or not. Okay, okay. All right. So, oh, Jimmy, um, now that Gizzle's gone, could you um carry me on your shoulders? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You've always been fine to walk in. What's the big idea now? <laughs> kidding, kidding. 
I just think it's funny how Gizzle always does that, and you always say yes. Oh, yeah. no, Gizzle's naturally lazy. Yeah, he is. I. You only encourage him, though. I know, but the kid only weighs 20 pounds, so... I mean, <laughs> it's nothing to burden. <laughs> All right, so you guys get back into town. You said you were heading towards the tavern. Yeah. All right, so you get to the tavern. Um, who are you talking to? Um, who are the people there? Let's look around first. Uh, since it's morning, it's it's pretty um, pretty empty in there. Uh, there's one older older dude that's sitting at the one of the tables and he looks like he's just having breakfast um in fact it actually looks uh like Taryn's uh dad adopted and then uh otherwise it's just a barmender or bartender and one barmaid okay let's talk to the bartender briefly are they cleaning up from last night yep okay yeah go so, to the bartender so, All right. and he's like, oh, you guys. Could you use any help cleaning up this place? Uh, sure, to, yeah. We're, I, we're I, glad I, to I, work I, the help. Will you pay us just a little something? If we... uh, yeah, you give us a, I'll give you a, two gold coins an hour. That seemed fair, um, Jimmy? No. Um, maybe we don't want to do that. Do you know? Oh, a, well, I'll think about it. Two an hour, yeah. That's pretty thinking good because we could do an eight-hour shift. Make it three. And roll I that roll, persuasion. I was gonna say I'll roll persuasion. I don't have a good persuasion. Hopefully do you need me to charm him, or you oh. can do intimidate? Oh, I, I prefer that. I don't. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Are you going with persuasion? You should persuade him. Well, now that I rolled intimidate. <laughs> <laughs> all right well you rolled it first so i'll uh, all right and he's like uh, yeah i guess i could do three an hour that's fair that sounds like a pretty good deal do you happen to know um any adventures any anything that's going on around town when we get down he says, here well any, uh, anything i had i already handed off to one of the other young trainers that was here earlier this morning oh uh, okay yes They've already taken the jobs and they're gone or, you know, and most people, I mean, with everybody leaving town, the graduates and all, there there ain't much work in town. Okay, we'll, we'll clean, we'll wait tables a little bit. Okay. Well, then you're just cleaning up after the party. Okay, we do that. How long does Basically. that take? Uh, I mean, how long? I mean, it's uh, at max, let's see, probably five hours worth of work. I'm fine working all five hours. Yeah, I'm fine working all five hours. Okay. Sounds good. So you both get uh, 15 gold then. Uh, that's okay. my pool. <laughs> oh, yeah. You just kind of clean up the area. And uh, okay. as as you're working, you know, uh, one of the barmaids, the other barmaid that was there, she kind of talks to you guys a little bit as you're working. And, and she's saying, like, what? If you guys are trying to make some money. You know, you can always sell Pokemon. Everybody's in the market for buying Pokemon. It's easier than going out and catching it yourself. Yeah, but I don't know if I want to sell my Pikachu. I guess we could catch a, catch a Pokemon. Pokemon are pretty valuable. Yeah, how much do you think we could sell it for if we sold it? Sell what? A Pokemon. Whoops. Pokemon. Hey, Hold it's on. all about Rainbow gold places. Okay, so I have 15 now. Like, if I was trying to sell a Pikachu, for instance. Mmm, Pikachu, huh? Oh, that sounds, well, it's somewhat valuable, that's for sure. Let me check. She's like, it can vary from person to person how much it's worth, you know, how much it's worth to them. They might give you more. Uh, I'd say probably, oh, by my estimation... <laughs> I'm I'm actually like actively DM, throwing some stuff in here real quick. <laughs> I'd say it could be worth like about fifty. That's just my guess. Mm, is it really worth it though? <laughs> well, that's up to you. I it suppose. is my Pokemon. Hmm. Values in the 
hands of the person with the Pokeball. <laughs> I say, are you looking, to buy, are you looking say, to buy one? We get some more Pokeballs and go hunting. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's get some more Pokeballs. Okay. And we go skittering out of the tavern like a couple of young kids with a crush, <laughs> with a candy bar on our mind. You could intimidate Granny into getting us cheap I'm Pokeballs. Scare. No, I'm nice to Granny. But I bet she'd be very intimidation and really gonna, good. This, right. is a, this is an encouragement that I think a, a lawfully good person would be giving his friend. <laughs> yeah, this sounds about right, uh, Tim. I think keep, keep going at it. Yeah, let's, Just a little yeah, scare. Not the old lady. You're a lawfully good guy, and you're telling him to threaten an old lady to give you cheap Pokeballs. That's kind of yeah. dark. <laughs> Yes, yes, I threw it out there. Just for yes, fun. Yes. <laughs> Just because it was funny. I thought about that. <laughs> As well, I mean, you wouldn't saying, really you be... You guys are walking over there. You're you like, wouldn't laughing. really be threatening her, you Threatening well, her, Jimmy. You just be... kind of is. You just, you know, you just use kind of your, you know, your regular resting face. Your intimidating presence... <laughs> You're, oh, you're so big. You're I big. think I know how I'm going to talk to Granny. No, you should do persuasion, Jimmy. I'm just joking with you. You wouldn't want to scare poor Granny. You know I just have such a dark sense of humor, even though I'm very, very good. Yeah, I know. You're like burnt coffee. Now let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you, get to, you get to Granny's story, yeah. Oh, it's you two again. It's, I, you haven't left town yet. Well, we came, we went, and now we're back for more Pokeballs. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. I've, got, I've got plenty of, of Pokeballs. You have plenty of them? So so you can give us a discount. You probably really need to sell them. I, I gave you guys all discounts last time, and I said, this is a special. I said... I said, this is a, a one time because you just graduated. And then Granny looks over at, at uh, Big Big Jim, and she sees him starting to cry. <laughs> Do a performance check and see how successful you are at crying, or a fake crying. <laughs> These are real crocodile tears. <laughs> oh, my oh. gosh. <laughs> I think those are real crocodiles. <laughs> and and she's like, oh oh, big Jim, no, don't you don't you cry here. Granny's Granny's got plenty of cookies for you. Here you go. Have a have a cookie. <laughs> Granny, the ball you gave me it broke apart when I threw it. <laughs> and we had to give one to Gizzle because we got to him so caught in it. Tim, if you're, if you're crying too, one. you have to roll performance as well. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Um, let's report. Please Hold on. High. Please roll high. Oh, I can. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you too. Don't you cry here. Have all the cookies you want. Granny's cookies will make them all better. Can you give uh, me a cup of Pokeball too? She says, I'll take a coin off of the po one gold coin off for Pokeballs. So how much are they now? Uh, let's see. They are, I think it's, uh, whoops, Pokemon supplies. It'd be nine nine gold. <laughs> okay, and she said all the things we want, right? So I'm with yes, Jimmy. That, that, wait, 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 wait. But she has she has one pan worth of cookies, which is like three, six, nine, like probably twelve, a dozen cookies. So how much all do you a want dozen, Jimmy, out of a dozen? She holds, she holds how much do a dozen cookies sell for, though? I mean, are they like cookies that? Start our own cookie business. Oh, this She's is a like, cookie business. Are you asking time. her this? No, 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 no. I guess, I mean, it's really up to you. You've never well, sold cookies let's before. Let's give you your high sure. performance checks. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. Let, let's do this. Hold on, hold on. I'll say, Granny, you know, I, I was thinking we could help you sell and market your cookies. She's or saying. maybe could well, even but... give us a Pokeball in exchange for 
helping you like we'll spread the word about how good they are and but everybody in town it's a small town everyone knows about my cookies and i give them away for free you see the thing about that is, and then he quickly, Big Jim, quickly comes out from crying and just pulls out a bag and just like shovels in all the cookies into his bag and goes, I feel, mu- I feel much better now, Granny. Thank you. Oh, good, good. And she kind of like looks at the pan really awkwardly and like slowly sets it back behind the counter and she's like, I'm glad you're okay now. Uh, you, I saw we we're still getting the pokeballs for nine. And then, way. And then uh, Big yes, Jim, that's fine. And then Big Jim holds out, goes, he's like, "Oh, Granny, I'm not gonna leave you empty-handed. Of course not." And he pulls out ten gold coins and puts them on a counter. He's like, "I'll pay full price for letting me take all the cookies. Oh, now I'll take oh. one pokeball on top. Oh, of course, of course, and, and I'll take one you. pokeball too." Are you doing for the nine coins? Yeah. Okay, I figured. All right, cool. So, yeah, she's, oh, thank you both. And and you two enjoy those cookies on the road and just have a fantastic journey. I hope the best for both of you. And wherever oh, your friend you. Gizzle is, I, I hope the best for him as well. Thank Make you, Make sure Granny. you name him at least one of those cookies, okay? Okay. Always Granny. I know, I know Jimmy's going to eat most of them because I know <laughs> I, how much you eat. But just save, I, just save him one. Just say it's from Granny. Of course. Okay, Granny. And then, okay. and we, then we walk out and blow her some kisses. And then I go, I wonder if that was a dozen or a baker's dozen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell Kiss it was a dozen. <laughs> it's definitely a dozen. Doesn't. I know, I could, <laughs> That's all that would fit on the pan. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. So, are we selling some of these cookies? Yes. For a gold coin each, maybe? Can I, I, yeah. For a gold coin for. We'll try to get a gold coin each. I want uh, Yeah, let's see if we can find any people. And then, right when I say that, can we see anyone out hunting for Pokemon? Oh, yeah. There's, I mean, there's a. Uh, are you going like back over to Route 1? Sure. Are you doing uh, an email? Anyone we can see around the town in the open. Oh yeah, I mean, there's a couple people walking around amongst the town. There's a few students up by the the dorm. Um, there's maybe one scientist headed back over to um, the lab. Uh, Did anyone use uh, some people? Kind of, are you just yelling that out? They yeah. kind of like they kind of like look over, but they don't seem to like be really jumping at it. Hey, 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 can I do a performance check and be like, hey, anyone want some cookies from Little Gills? I mean, yeah, a performance check. If you do a performance check, it'll just show how, like, loud and hearable you are, bottom line. Oh, it's not going to force anyone to you. Good enough for me. Make sure that, you know, people hear you. Oh, nice. Jeez, you guys are rolling high tonight. Um, I mean, you hear you hear the students that are up by the dorm, they go, Tiny Goose, but then they don't, like, come over. Okay, <laughs> can I do a persuasion check as I'm talking? Can I do a persuasion check? What are you persuading? People? I'm trying to persuade people to buy cookies. I'm, like, showing them, the, I'm, like, holding these, we're, like, holding these cookies out, right? And, like, yeah. Like, what are you, what are you for doing one, to make cookies so for one goal? Wait. Oh, okay. Hey, we have cookies for only one gold. Extra, extra. Eat all of them. Up. <laughs> okay, okay. You, know? you you get, like, one guy, like, walks up to you, and he's like, dude, for free, why would I pay a gold for them? Because these are Little Giz originals. Yeah, don't you want to support Little Giz? We're trying to raise funds for Little Giz so he can and be a great Pokemon. He's dying you know? in a hospital. And this this guy's like bald and whatnot, and he's like, uh, "Look, I'm on my way to work. Uh, for five cookies, I'll give you a gold." Mm. But uh, you gotta okay. hurry. Okay. Oh, should we do that? I, I don't think he's going to give us any better unless we roll a natural twenty. I look at him with my intimidate, and I go, he's dying. <laughs> That's a great idea. Oh, That's my God. <laughs> he's like, he's like okay, okay. Uh, five, he's like, okay. five gold. 
five for five. <laughs> is so you didn't scared. specify that beforehand, He's though. So scared, He's like, though. Well, we That's one gold at least. <laughs> He's like, okay, okay, I'll give you three gold for five. <laughs> Just don't hurt me, man. Oh, that's fine with me. <laughs> we'll, we'll and after he that. gives us the gold and we exchange the cookies, <laughs> I give him a bright big smile and go, thank you, Conley. <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of like hurries away and he like looks behind his shoulder every now and then like he's kind of freaked out. <laughs> like, I mean, that's like as good as we can expect. Uh, I, is... I hand 